most people are fascinated by snakes, how they function, how they work, how they acquire their prey, whether we're, we're fearful of them or, or nervous around them or completely petrified of them. Many of us, I think, are curious as to how they function. I think one of the reasons why that is is because they have no arms and legs. And that's what we do as biologists is we try to figure out how animals work, how they function. We were interested in evaluating the mechanism of death of prey items that were being constricted by boa constrictors, uh, specifically mammals, in this case rats. People thought for a long time that suffocation was actually the cause of death. And I think that it, it, it's fairly logical to think that. In about 1994, there was a paper that came out that suggested that, no, in fact, suffocation was not the likely cause something else was going on because the animals were dying too quickly. Nobody had really ever tested that. From what I can see in the literature, we're the first to test it. All told, we probably spent a year, a little under a year, in the laboratory with this particular project, and three of the most motivated and hardworking undergraduates I've had the honor of training with. Basically, it's impossible to have done this research without them. It's hard to actually see where they stop being students and become full collaborators. We took rats that are anesthetized, so they're completely knocked out. We instrumented it with a, a number of different devices in order to monitor the flow of blood. And then we allowed the snake to bite and constrict the rat while it is under anesthesia. And then we could watch how the constriction pressure, the pressure of that snake wrapping around, how that got elevated and then at the same time, concurrently, what was happening inside the rat. We discovered pretty significant data supporting uh, that it was circulatory arrest was a major contributor. During compression, there's very limited amounts of blood returning to the heart or leaving the heart, uh, which is pretty similar to uh, something clinically called obstructive shock. And we believe that that's a valuable piece of information, something that's interesting to know just in general how snakes function, but also specifically to understand how those snakes evolved, how they came about, why they became so successful, why there are so many species today.